Today is our inaugural Corporate Humanitarian Challenge. It's a day where we bring our corporate partners together. We give a kind of teaser and introduction to humanitarian work, whether that be water, sanitation, hygiene, whether it be shelter, logistics, or even refugee camp site planning. And we do this as part of the employee engagement of our corporate partners. We're working with some different corporate organisations, giving them an experience of what it's like in a very basic form uh, to respond to a humanitarian crisis. So we're engaging people in the different clusters, which is water and sanitation, shelter, and putting them through the motions of setting up a first phase response in a humanitarian crisis. Corporates who come on uh, our humanitarian training days really get a, a great opportunity to work together in a really different environment, step outside their comfort zone and try something completely different. Probably the most fun thing we've done today was um, erect some temporary shelters uh, with some raw materials that yeah, would be readily available in a uh, humanitarian crisis. Um, I think there's nothing better than the opportunity to go and help people in need. So we learned so many skills around that, like shelter building. That was really impressive. I love that part. We've had participants learning about the minimum standards for water, sanitation and hygiene. We've had them hauling buckets of water to really understand what it's like for internally displaced people or refugees. We've had them building shelters, rudimentary shelters, which uh, we'd be using in the first phase of a response, and learning about all of the minimum standards that are set to ensure that people can live with dignity, even in the midst of a crisis. Well, it was great that everything was a team activity because obviously when we get out there in the real world, I'm sure that's exactly how it's going to be. With Arup, we've got all the technical and also soft skills that come with engineering consultancy, but we don't really know how to utilise it in a disaster relief sense. But also, Red Arm might not be aware of some of the skills that we are able to bring. So really, it's about working very closely together so we understand what each of us can do so that we can just make things better and better and more efficient. Today is part of bringing everyone together so we can understand the skills and the benefits that these young professionals bring to bear on a humanitarian response, which by its very nature is a multifaceted response. The comparative advantage of the suite of training professional development that Red R Australia offers is so inherently linked to the real life scenarios from the field. Our people are out in the field and you need to be able to lead. You need to have those, those cultural soft skills, communication, problem solving. Quite often when the people you're dealing with, whether it be the affected population, whether it be international teams on the ground when they're speaking another language. These are some of the skills that our training and our partnerships help refine in Australia's next generation of corporate leaders.